India is a land of unity and diversity, of high mountain ranges, vast seas, large river irrigated lands, countless rivers and streams, of timelines and kings and ministers. India is the mother of history. But the most impressive thing about India is the freedom fighters who sacrifice themselves for its freedom. So here we start with the revolt of 1857. An uprising in several sepoy colonies of the Bengal army was sparked by the issue of gunpowder cartridges for the Enfield rifle in February 1857. Loading it often required tearing open the greased cartridge with one's teeth. And many sepoys believed those were greased in cow or pig fat. Rani Lakshmibai's adopted son was not allowed to sit on the throne of Jhansi. Mangal Pandey, a sepoy in Barakpur, had refused to use the cartridge and attacked his senior officers. He was hanged to death on 8th April. On 9th of May, 85 soldiers refused to use the new rifle and were sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. The Swadeshi Movement The movement had its roots in the anti-partition movement which was started to oppose Lord Curzon's decision of dividing the province of Bengal. The message was propagated to boycott goods such as Manchester cloth and Liverpool salt. Rabindranath Tagore produced the song Amar Shonar Bangla. The movement spread to various parts of India. Pune and Bombay were under Bal Ganga Tilak. Punjab was under Lala Lajpat Rai and Ajit Singh. Delhi being under Sayyid Haider Raza and Madras under Chidambaram Pillai. In the 1906 Congress session held at Calcutta, the INC in the presidentship of Dada Bhai Naroji declared self-government or Swaraj as the goal of INC. Home Rule League Movement They are believed to have set the stage for the independence movement under the leadership of Annie Besant and Bal Gangadhar Tilak to the educated English-speaking upper-class Indians. Satyagraha Movement Mahatma Gandhi successfully organized Satyagraha movements in a number of places. In the year 1917, he traveled to Champaran in Bihar to inspire the peasants to struggle against the oppressive plantation system. Later in that year, he organized another Satyagraha movement to support the peasants of Kheda district of Gujarat who were affected by the plague epidemic. In the year 1980, Mahatma Gandhi went to Ahmedabad to organize a Satyagraha movement among the cotton mill workers. The idea of Satyagraha basically emphasized the power of truth and demand to search the truth. It suggested that if the cause was true and the struggle was against injustice, then the physical force was not necessary to fight the oppressor. Civil Disobedience Movement Gandhi planned to break the salt law. The salt law said that it was illegal to produce, sell and collect salt as it was a British government monopoly. The civil disobedience movement was launched along with the Dandi March by Mahatma Gandhi on 12th March 1930. Ultimately, it ended on April 6th when Gandhi broke the salt law at Dandi. Afterwards, the movement was preceded by Sri Raj Gopalachari. Mass participation of women, peasants and merchants happened and was succeeded by Salt Satyagra, No Tax Movement and No Rent Movement. Although over 60,000 Indians were jailed as a result of Salt Satyagra, the British did not make immediate major concessions. The failed treaty of the Second Round Table Conference led to the start of the Second Civil Disobedience Movement. This led to varied practices like protests in front of liquor stores, Salt Satyagraha, Forced law violations happened, but the British was aware of the upcoming incidents. Thus, it imposed martial law with a ban on gatherings. The Quit India Movement The main reason behind the launch of the Quit India Movement in 1942, as it became one of the powerful Indian national movements, include the failure of the Crips proposal, which became the awakening call for the Indians, and the discontent by the hardships of the World War. We asked for an end to British rule in India. The movement had started in a speech involving Mahatma Gandhi as he asked the Indians to do or die. In 1946-7, independence grew closer, there was violence and in 1947, the British withdrew from the area and it was partitioned into two countries, India and Pakistan.